What's up, y'all? A little video of the new kayak. Didn't really look in the other video, the Jeep back there. This thing's nice, man. I don't have the propel drive in it. I was test, test fitting this um, and the rod stuff, the uh, rod storage in the front, see the tubes. Anyway, it's a Titan X 12.5. Propel has dedicated XI3 mount, which my XI3 will be going there. Um, this box right here is pretty sick. It's got a dedicated battery box for the electronics with a little pass through. I'm going to dual mount. Uh, I got a Lawrence HDS Live 9 and a 7. I'm going to run both of them up here on these. And then when Native comes out, they have a. Um, let me zoom this out a little bit. They have a crossbar that runs across to here. So I'll mount them on that bar. Um, it'll be a little better. But anyway, this is nice. The scupper hole has a transducer mount under here. It runs through here and runs to this battery and straight out to the units. I just have this box right here. That's my yacht power system if you guys have never seen it. But that's what I run. It's got a wireless switching system, so I hook everything to that, and then I can control it from the controller back there. But tons of tons of space and access. Um, so you have that compartment there. You, these right here are removable, which is something they just come out with. They're designed to drill into, so I'll put my power here for the trolling motor, <clears throat> and I'll probably put a couple other things um here and then i and then if i want to change it i can just get another one of these pieces but that's all hollow under here so i have access straight to it straight to it from under here but yeah this thing is nice man just went and got it registered today so i can put my numbers on it get them ordered because in alabama you have to register ones that have batteries on them but comes with a uh, notched out area for the catch board but it's it's not it's not fit for this so it'll fall so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and build <clears throat> probably get me a little piece to to shimmy that off the right distance to keep to keep it on this this little platform you got a space for 3600 boxes it says Plano which I think you you probably need to get Plano's because that box right there is kind of snug getting in and out of there. It's like they designed this for a 3600, but like a, a weird Plano size one because that Plano one's kind of thin. It slides down in there a little better. You got the swivel seat, which is freaking awesome. Folds down, has a little strap, which I'm excited about because I'm always having to strap my seats down when I'm hauling it because they'll, they'll flip up and I don't like that. This has a little strap. It's got a pull-out drawer. Mine doesn't work worth the crap. I don't know if the um, the plastic's bowed, it looks like. But anyway, it doesn't slide in and out of there. It just grinds. It grinds a lot. I have to talk to Native about that. Massive deck space. It's 40 inches wide. Um, obviously, you've got four spots for your rods to go in. I already have one in there because I, I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, tons of gear track you have one of these on each side of the seat this right here you've got your battery box for your trolling motor battery um, that up there is a is the battery box for the electronics so you've got this one down here i've got my 12 volt 100 amp hour power queen mini in here there's plenty of room as you can see and they both have straps in these boxes that are really nice so I can strap this down and it don't move. And also, that's all hollow under there. So you have tons of access to the hull of this thing. Um, one of the reasons that I bought this one was because of the thought process they put into it. It's really designed for powering things, running things. Um, it's super nice, but anyway, this is my old kayak crate. This is a 13 by 13 Black Pack Pro. As you can tell, it doesn't fit. 
so it it there's no support for it so if you get one of these do not get a 13 by 13 if you want your crate to sit flat so i actually had to order a different one because i have these notches here so this is 16 across left to right and it's 16 forward and aft so you can see it goes up there it's notched so this is the 16 mark this is a 13 mark so i'm gonna get i was gonna get a 16 by 16 but i'm bougie and i like special colors so the only sizing that they had the the new colored ones they just come out with is 13 by 16 so that'll put me sitting on this platform in this 13 by 13 notch out so it should fit all the way across here and be supported and then also this one will only hold 3600 um it only hold 3600 tackle boxes um whereas the 16 inch one will hold the 3700s which i'm excited about i need to do something i need to figure out what i want to do here um i want to be able to haul these so i don't have to stick them in the jeep because that's a pain in the butt fishing them in and out of there so if i can take and put four of them on here and haul them like that but i can't haul there's nothing holding them down so i need to figure out some way to secure them in this spot so i can haul them four on the kayak instead of inside got your steering this is a little dry box don't know what i'll do with it because obviously you can't really get to it um maybe keys i don't i don't know another one of the access plates um you got your hand controlled steering there and your other plate has four that's three integrated rod holders one two and three because the other one's covered up with the steering um this is a micro power pole attachment from the factory. This right here is a spot to mount like a Torquedo or a Newport trolling motor bracket, which is super nice. This is reinforced. All this stuff, that's what I like about it is it's reinforced. It's designed from the factory to support this stuff, not just some adapter that you put on there and it wasn't meant to have that. Another power pole, micro power pole. So you can run two micro power poles rear motor and then you can hook up the foot steering they have a kit for it that uh you can put in and you can foot control it this is really pretty cool so you've got your rear handles but it's it's a gear track with rubber wrapped around it um the only issue i see with it is if you wanted to put something right here you have to take this off um which is kind of a nuisance that means you'd have to take all these screws out pull this bar off and slide this off to be able to utilize this gear track it's cool that it's there but it's it's an extra step that you have to do to actually utilize it but yeah this thing is a fatty dude it's 40 inches wide supposedly a completely new redesigned hull this is a uh, spring-loaded rudder system you can see the the little spring right there it's internal but you pull the lever and it and it drops down. It's supposed to make it steer a little better. I don't really care about that because I'm running, you know, obviously I'm running an XI3. I'm waiting for Native to get my uh, adapter plate for me so I can mount it up. But yeah, super excited, man. This thing's gonna be very nice. I did install a... Uh, <sighs> I, uh, I don't know, a trailer jack with a wheel on it, so I don't have to fight this thing as much. I did have to re-change, had to resize my tubing from the shear water. The shear water's mount spots are wider. Um, this one runs 8-inch centers, so I had to move my PVC pipe to 8-inch centers. Um, no big deal, but as you can see, it's it's on there. I did order some different straps. I'm gonna put brackets right here, probably right here and here. Uh, half inch D ring. Um, and then I'm gonna mount, I've got some retractable bolt on straps. So I'm just gonna be able to just drag them across and hook it, which will be nice. It came with these. 
Um, I don't know that I'm going to use them, but they're for your paddle. You got one on each side. You put it, take it in half, stick it there. But yeah, this thing's really nice. Ready to get started rigging it up. That's for that little rudder deal. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be making videos about it, so we'll see. But anyway, I'll holler at y'all. See ya.